Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will prove that integral of 1 divided by square root of x square minus a square dx equal to log mod x plus root over x square minus a square plus c. First, I considered the question integral of 1 divided by root over x square minus a square dx. We do this problem by substitution method. We know that in substitution method, we will consider x as something. What is that x here? We will consider x equal to a secant theta. You may ask why we are taking x equal to a secant theta, why not any other function? It is important to memorize this point. Whenever you see x square minus a square, you should consider x equal to a secant theta only. If we take x equal to a secant theta, then the things can be done very easily. Now start differentiating this with respect to x on both sides. Derivative of x equal to derivative of a secant theta. As soon as we will consider x equal to a secant theta, we differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1 equal to here a is constant, take it outside. Derivative of secant theta with respect to x. You try to understand function is in terms of theta, we are differentiating with respect to x. So chain rule differentiation we use. We already learned chain rule differentiation in differentiation chapter. So derivative of secant theta is what? Derivative of secant theta is secant theta into tan theta. As we are differentiating with respect to x, function is in terms of theta. We will write here d theta by dx. From this, we can write what is dx. What is dx? dx equal to a secant theta into tan theta into d theta. Now these two things x equal to a secant theta dx equal to a secant theta tan theta d theta. These two things I will substitute in the question that equal to integral of 1 divided by root over x square. What is x? x is a secant theta. What is x square? Square it on both sides. What is x square? x square is a square into secant square theta minus a square. You observe here in place of x square I written a square secant square theta into dx. What is dx? We got dx as a into secant theta into tan theta into d theta. You observe here, we got dx as a secant theta tan theta d theta. Those things, this one and this one, both I substituted in the question. Now, if we simplify this further, integral of, you observe here, 1 into a secant theta into tan theta into d theta is what is a into secant theta into tan theta into d theta whole divided by you observe in the denominator, we can take a, a square common. Take a square common. If we take a square common, what you will get? You will get here secant square theta. If we take a square common here, 1 is remaining. So if we take a square common in the denominator, you will get a square into secant square theta minus 1. That equal to integral of a secant theta into tan theta whole divided by root over a square into see here secant square theta minus 1. We know this formula from trigonometric ratios 1 plus tan square theta equal to secant square theta. You take plus 1 to this side. What is tan square theta? Tan square theta equal to secant square theta minus 1. So in place of secant square theta minus 1 you can write tan square theta. You observe here secant square theta minus 1 is there. In place of secant square theta minus 1, you write tan square theta, okay, tan square theta into d theta, okay. If we simplify this further, integral of, what is there in the numerator? A secant theta into tan theta, whole divided by denominator, root a square is a, root tan square theta, root tan square theta is tan theta into d theta. You can observe here a a will get cancelled and this tan theta also will get cancelled. What is remaining? Remaining one is integral of secant theta into d theta. 
we know we learned this integration formula in the beginning of this chapter what is integral of secant theta d theta integral of secant theta d theta is log mod secant theta plus tan theta plus c okay so here this equal to log mod secant theta plus tan theta can we write tan theta in terms of secant theta why because actually the integration is completed here only answer is log mod secant theta plus tan theta but here what we are trying to prove we are trying to prove that this equal to log mod x plus root over x square minus a square plus c so i need to simplify this further so that we will get this answer i want to write tan theta in terms of secant because i know that secant theta equal to x by a so here you observe we know this formula no? tan square theta equal to secant square theta minus 1 you apply square root on both sides if we apply square root square root of tan square theta that is tan theta equal to root over secant square theta minus 1 so tan theta can be written as root over secant square theta minus 1 plus c so that equal to log mod secant theta you observe here we considered in the beginning x equal to a secant theta from this what is secant theta secant theta equal to x divided by a plus root over secant square theta secant theta is x by a secant square theta is x square by a square minus 1 plus c now if we simplify this what you will get this equal to log mod x by a plus i'll write one step directly here you please try to understand square root of x square minus a square by a square after simplifying this what you will get square root of x square minus a square divided by a square which is same as square root of x square minus a square whole divided by a because in the denominator a square is there square root of a square is a plus c if we simplify this further what you will get that equal to log mod here a is lcm what you will get in the numerator uh, root of x plus root over x square minus a square divided by a plus c okay that equal to you observe this it is like log m by n what is the formula for log m by n the formula for log m by n is log m minus log n so this can be written as log mod x plus root over x square minus a square minus log a plus c that equal to log mod x plus root over x square minus a square you observe here c minus log a c is one arbitrary constant log a is also constant constant minus constant is what is again a constant so simply we can write plus c here but there is a chance if i write c you will confuse so what i'll do here what is c here c is integral constant in place of this c i'll write c1 c1 is what c1 is any arbitrary constant c1 here in place of c i'll write c1 what is c1 here c1 is arbitrary constant log a is also constant constant minus constant is again a constant so simply we will write like this so finally what we proved we proved that integral of 1 divided by square root of x square minus a square dx equal to log mod x plus root over x square minus a square plus c i hope you are understanding mm -hmm.